Thank you very much. Okay, we are about to begin on the count of five. Come and lay down the burdens you Never said talk. have carried. Talk. Talk. For in the sanctuary, where is her God is here. Thank you. Yeah. All right, number 213. Who is on the 213 is my first song. You find it fast enough? Hello and good evening to all our viewers on YouTube and on Zoom. We are most grateful to have you with us this evening. We just want to welcome you to the 50th anniversary Hope Gospel Series. We are here on the third night and we have been blessed thus far with messages from the Word. Last night, or last evening rather, we were told the story of Lucifer and how sin came to be in this world. But just before we go into our praise and worship, let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, you have blessed us once again to bring us to this place. Lord, you have spared our lives to see the middle of the week. Great God of heaven, we want to thank you for your mercies. And as we have come into your sanctuary this evening, I pray that our praise and our worship will be lifted high to your throne room and that it will be pleasing unto you. Bless us now. Tabernacle with us and keep us safe while we remain here. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Number 213, as I invite us all to join us as we sing tonight. Of course, you have heard the topic that we're speaking on tonight is the second coming of Christ. So we're going to sing lustily. Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Cherubim pilgrims be joyful and sing. Jesus is coming again. Coming again. Coming again. Jesus is coming again. Echo with your tongues, proclaim it in plain. Jesus is coming again. Coming in glory, the Lamb that was slain. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. Heathens of earth tell the vast wandering throng. Jesus is coming again. Tempest and whirlwind, the anthem prolong. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. Nations are angry, but this we do not. Jesus is 
Number 200, the Lord is coming. Let it be the herald note of Jubilee. The herald note of Jubilee. Number 200. The Lord is coming. Let this be the herald note of Jubilee. And when we meet and when we part, Salutation from the heart. The Lord is coming, let this be the herald note of Jubilee. The herald note of Jubilee. The Lord is coming, sound it forth from east to west, from south to north. Speed on, speed on the tidings man. And none who love him may be sad. The Lord is coming, let me see the herald note of Jubilee. The herald note of Jubilee. The Lord is coming, swift and sure, and all his judgment shall endure. And none can hope to escape his wrath. Who walk not in the narrow path? The Lord is coming, let this be the herald note of Jubilee. The herald note of Jubilee. This earth with her ten thousand wrongs will soon be turned to nobler songs. Our praise with all his universe unite. The Lord is coming, let this be the herald note of Jubilee, the herald note of Jubilee. And indeed, he's coming. Number 205. The golden morning is fast approaching. Jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to their promised home. The golden morning is fast approaching. Jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to their promised home. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. The gospel sermons will soon be carried to the nations round the bridegroom then will cease to tarry and the trumpet sound oh we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom oh we see the gleams of the golden morning Attended by all the shining angels Down the flaming sky The judge will come and will take his people Where they will not die Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning Piercing through 
looking forward for the second coming of Christ. At this time, we'll stand and do our theme song, Beautiful Name. Nothing can stand against. You know, because of the power that this name holds, we know that we can turn to our mighty God to hear our cry. And so at this time, we will have ministerial student, Elder Selvin Stewart, beseeching the throne room of grace on our behalf. So wherever you are, just assume an attitude of prayer and deep reverence after he comes and prays for us and for the speaker we will have a special item of music from sister sarah marshall what a beautiful name it is what a wonderful name it is the name of jesus there is still power in the name of Jesus. There is still hope in the name of Jesus. And we're going to pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know what your situation is, but you have an option even now to put your prayer request in the chat. You're on YouTube and you're on Zoom. You're right here in the church. God 
wants you to pour out to him now because we're going to pour out to him in prayer. Every Wednesday at this time, we are going to come in an intercessory manner to speak to our Lord who really wants to hear from us. I invite you to turn your hearts heavenwards. Your prayer requests are stated in the chat or in your heart. God is unraveling them right now. He has said, before you call, I, God, have already answered. And so we are praying in faith right now. Will you pray with me? Father in heaven, mighty God, God who is God all by himself, we thank you for this moment where you have afforded us to come together in this manner. We are here on site. We are on YouTube. We are on Zoom. But we are all together in your name. Here we are, Lord, undone, unworthy. We are nothing, men who are no good. But your grace and your mercy have afforded us the privilege of coming in your presence now. What a wonderful thing it is that you inhabit the praise of your people. What a great thing to know that you are hearing our cry right now. Lord, as we assemble this moment, we're bringing before you the many circumstances that have been bombarding us. But before we get there, God, we just want to say thank you, oh God. We want to thank you firstly for life. Thank you that you have kept us in the land of the living. Thank you, God, because you have provided for us throughout today. Thank you, God, because you have kept us safe today for us to be in worship with you. Hallelujah. Our soul cries out, thank you, oh God. We thank you for the opportunity of forgiveness even now. Individually, we know our situation. And so we come humble before you now, God. And pouring out our hearts to you. Lord, some of us have been stealing. Some of us have been breaking your Sabbath. Some of us have not been cherishing the Holy Bible, your Holy Words, the way we should. Some of us have been hypocritical. Some of us have been backbiters. Some of us have been malice keepers. Ah, oh, Lord, adjectives have lost their profundities in an effort for me to define who we really are. But I'm thankful in your omniscience. You know every one of us and you know our very condition. But we are joyful tonight because you are saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden and you will give us rest. You are saying unto us tonight, ah, if we are faithful and just to, convict, ah, to, 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 to confess our sin, you are ready and able and faithful to forgive us. And so we come pouring our sins at your altar right now. God, we are saying, make us whole right now. Oh God, we are saying from a contrite heart, God, cleanse us. Heal us. Remedy our sinful condition, we pray right now, God. And Lord, we are happy. Because wherein we are honest, we are going to leave this prayer right now when we are done. As people who have been forgiven by God. Hallelujah. God has forgiven somebody tonight. Praise the Lord. Somebody has gained the victory. Lord, people have been bombarded by sickness. Many have been accosted by financial deprivation. So many of us are having family woes. Husbands have gone astray. Wives have turned their backs on you. Children have gotten wayward. God, we've gotten seared relationship even in your very church. Lord, you have been appealing to our heart. And there is somebody online 
who knows that what you are saying is true. But we are listening to the devil rather than listening to the Holy Ghost. We are praying, Lord, that you heal our condition tonight. There is somebody who is struggling in school. There is somebody who is worrying about their job. There is somebody who wants a job. There is somebody whose living condition is despicable. There is somebody that the devil has on the chain. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come tonight with holy boldness because the triune God are with us tonight. Break every chain tonight. Oh God, beat back the forces of the enemy and set your people free set us free free us tonight we are praying God elevate us to a place where we need to be oh God Lord come through for somebody tonight heal somebody's brokenness Mend some wayward relationship. God, solve some spiritual woes that are existing in the life of your people. Come through, God. Come through for your people one more time. And Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of this series that has been bringing hope. It has been bringing life. It has been bringing insight. It has been bringing truth. It has been bringing a better way out for people. Lord, we thank you because men and women are being rescued because of this initiative. We want to thank you in a very special way for the lead agents that you have selected to lead this charge. Dr. Verna, Lord, we pray for her. Dr. Walker, we pray for him. Pastor Ball, we pray for him. For the leadership at large and New Heaven here and all those who are intricately involved in this series. We call your attention to every one of them. Lord, I pray wisdom on your man's servant. I pray health on your man's servants. I pray that you'll be divinely close to all of them now, God, as they represent for you. Speak through them, Holy Ghost. Represent through them, Holy Ghost. Heal their brokenness that when they come to present your words they will present it with power and great clarity and men and women in the hearing of their voices will cry out I yield I yield God is the only way Lord we are praying right now that victory be wrought in the life of your people tonight we're praying right now that somebody in church and somebody online will get the victory and sign up that card and declare to go all the way with Jesus in baptism. We're declaring victory tonight. We're declaring souls tonight for your kingdom. We're declaring tonight's program and the other nights to come to be a blessing and to be a night of victory. We are celebrating. We are rejoicing because we know with God all things are possible. You have heard us. And more so, God, we are happy that you have answered us. And with great faith, we close this prayer. With all those requests we would have stated, and the unmentioned requests on our hearts, with all that we have asked tonight, and all that we have failed to ask, we are sure we've got smiling faces now. We've got a happy hearts because we believe that God has come through tonight one more time in the life of his people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Victory has been wrought in Jesus' name. Let the people of God say amen, amen, amen. Both the words and all the words came into order. You waved your hands and planets filled the empty sky. You placed the woman and the man inside the garden. And 
But though they fell, they found compassion in your eyes. Oh Lord, I stand amazed at the wonder of your deeds, and it's a great wonder brings me to my because of who you are. Amazing, amazing song there. You know, because of who God is, we have every reason to praise him. And so at this time, we will praise him by returning an offering. Uh, also, we will have our values foundation for children right afterwards. And if, if a child is near you, ensure that they have a look at this video as we want our children to be men and women who will stand though the heavens fall. It's now time for our offertory. The ushers, you may now go to collect the offering. It is clear throughout the pages of the Bible that as Christians, we are called to give. To give of our time, our talents, our gifts. And tonight, everyone can participate in this gift of giving. For those who are online, we encourage you to do so. If 
you can email us at s at, I repeat, sorry, it's nhsda treasury at yahoo.com. And for those who are unable to do so, you can always call on any of our elders here at New Heaven or on our pastor, Pastor Anthony Barr, to make that arrangement. We thank you for your gift and your offering as it helps to offset this 50th, uh, this 50th gospel series and to go forward to win souls for the kingdom of God. Can you just bow your heads with me in prayer as we give thanks? Father in heaven, we thank you for being our great provider. We thank you for having given us through your words the instructions that are sure to touch our hearts and to win souls for you. As we have collected an offering, Lord, we present it before you and ask for your blessings. And we do so in no other name but the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Values Foundation for Children, a special feature just for you in our 50th anniversary Hope Evangelism series. Are you ready for your value for tonight? Let's go! So, boys and girls, just before we get into our value for tonight, do you want to help Auntie Lorraine to do these videos nightly? If you do, find a value that I have not done yet, like those up top, and do a 30 to 40 second video and send to WhatsApp. My WhatsApp, 876-448-0406. Make sure you send your name and if you want, where you're from. And your video should explain the value and include a Bible text. When you're doing the video, make sure you're where it is bright and quiet. And turn your camera just as it is in that picture. Let's get into our value for tonight. We have learned that values are things that are important to us and are usually passed on through our families. We have learned from Evangelist Walker that the Bible teaches us many, many values. And so tonight's value is helping. Can I see the hands of those who love to help? I do. Do you love to be helped? I do. And so Hebrews 13, 16 says, and do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. God loves when we help others. And he loved us so much that in John 3, 16, he's the greatest helper. It says that he helped us by giving his life. Read with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We don't perish, we don't die when we love Jesus and we have the promise of eternal life. So even if we lose our lives here and we believe in Jesus and live for him, we have the promise of going home with him. And so parents, leaders and adults, let us be good examples of God's values and help someone today. Until next time, bye! Amen. Thank you very much, Evangelist Vernal, for that. Telling us about the importance of helping others, the importance of helping around the home, the importance of being helpful wherever you're needed. Good evening, everybody. Come on and talk to me. Well, well, I understand the limitations that you are having now. Nevertheless, let me see you do something. Good evening, everybody. All right, you're waving your hands. All right, and I'm hoping that those individuals who are watching us now 
on YouTube and on Zoom that you are alive and well. Yes, you can be watching us and you are not alive and well. Yes, there are individuals who are alive but are not well. Now, 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 you want to be alive and well. So you need to demonstrate that you are alive and well. And I am seeing a couple persons in their beds right now. They're lying in their beds with their gadgets. I am seeing you. How do I see you? Yes, you, my sister, you. Yes, you are lying in your bed with your gadget and you are planning to just watch and then go off to sleep. I want to invite you to stand. I want to invite you to get up. I want to invite you to say amen and praise the Lord so that your next door neighbor is wondering what is wrong next door. And when they come to find out, you can tell them it is because you are dreaming about heaven. If you are dreaming about heaven, you can keep silent. What do you say? Because heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face because heaven is a wonderful face. Now, for those of you who are in the sanctuary, I want to thank you for coming out. And I want to thank my sister for singing. You have a new name now, so I'm not going to call your name because I don't remember it. But thank you very much for that lovely song. Lord, I praise you because of who you are. And we are standing now as God's people as we sing this song. It's a good time to get acquainted. Get acquainted. Let us stand. Let us stand. Let us allow the Spirit of God to move us. It's a good time to get acquainted. It's a good time to get acquainted. It's a good time to know the one standing. Oh, oh, just a minute. 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 That, that, that lady is still sitting down in her couch. You are still sitting in your, co your, your settee. And you are still lying down in your bed. Get up. Get up out of your settee. Get up out of your bed. And sing the song loudly. So that your neighbors can hear. Get up. It's a good time. And walk around. Hug your daughter. Hug your son. Hug your husband. It's Tell good somebody time something good. To get acquainted. It's a good time to know the ones who stand behind the sun. You just smile and say hello, hello. Say goodbye to lonesome feelings. I'm happy that you're here. It's my elbow, I'm very glad to see you. Just put yours right one more time. It's a good time to get acquainted. It's a good time to know the ones who stand in the sun. Just smile and say hello. Say goodbye to lonesome feelings. I'm happy that you're here. Here's my hand, I'm quite glad to see you. So put yours right here. You may be seated. And I want to let you know that tomorrow evening, I will be walking with a special gift. I am not telling you what that gift is now. I will be walking with a special gift. And I want to give that gift to anyone who brings tomorrow two visitors. If you are brought two visitors, you will get that gift. Or if you are online and you can prove that your two visitors were with us online, you will get that gift. A very special gift I will have tomorrow to give away. So come inside the house of God with your two visitors. Don't allow the enemy to gain the victory. He wants to keep us down. He wants to laugh at God's people. 
He wants to laugh at the church and see it. So look how easy I get them to become Seventh-day Adventists for real. Sitting down always. We don't want to be sitting down always. Are we together? We are Seventh-day Adventists because we believe that Jesus is coming again. And as a people who believe that Jesus is coming again, we also believe that we should live by his words, the commandments that he has given to us. Right, so we have been blessed so far by the messages presented to us by our co-evangelist as she ministers to the children, Dr. Vernal, and also our evangelist for this campaign, Evangelist Merrick Walker. God has been using him to do a mighty work. And I have no doubt that this evening he will be doing the same and even greater because the Spirit of God moves from one level to higher. But, so, but, but before we come, rather, we'll have our praise team that will be giving us that song of meditation. Wonderful song from your hearts. 
and it underscores what Jesus did for us on Calvary. Pleasant evening. I hope you had a wonderful day and we want you to know that we appreciate your presence each night and hello to those online and hello my friend in New York and those in Canada it is really a joy to share with you tonight the message that the Lord has laid on my heart. And uh, I'm going to go right into this message. While I proclaim, I pray that the Holy Spirit will have full control over this message. Well, the message is about the final event that earth will realize. And we have to say to you tonight that the brutal slaying of the president of our neighboring island, Haiti, it is declaring what I said last evening, that there is sin everywhere. And while I was speaking, the devil was planning. But while the devil is planning, I declare to you that the Lord is coming. Matthew 25 verses 1 through three speak of ten virgins five were wise and five were foolish the foolish ones had no extra oil the wise had oil in their lamps and other oil for the duration of the journey and when and when the bridegroom came and the proclamation was made the foolish ones they rushed out to buy oil but the bridegroom came and the wise ones were able to enter into the feast lateness lateness or unpreparedness is a serious challenge not only in relation to the real life but in relation to the life to come so if you are late for your 
interview and your appointment, if you are late to pay the bill, if you are late to make the investment, then there are consequences. And more so, if we are late in making an effort to be prepared for heaven, that is the worst lateness we can ever experience because someone will knock when the door is closed. It is a predicament. It will be a sad experience. So the story of the ten virgins speaks profoundly to the state of humanity in different groups when the Lord comes. Don't lose the message. The Bible is clear in Matthew 7 and verse 13 that the way to destruction is the gate is broad. Oh yes, the gate is broad and, and the path is, not, is, is, is wide. And many will find it. But the path to eternal life, it is narrow and few therein will, will find it therein. And think about the predicament when the Lord comes someone will knock when the door is shut shall you shall I I introduce you to a key passage St. John 14 verses 1 through 3 it is the foundation for our belief in earth's final event. It says, let not your heart be troubled. Ah, we have reasons to be troubled outside of Christ. Reasons we see on every side the uh, tentacles of sin and the venom of crime and violence. We see diseases on every side. We see planned murders, always planned, on every side in every country. We have reasons to be troubled. But the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, you believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you. And I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. He is coming. Hallelujah. He is coming. And this all world will not remain as it is. He is coming. He is coming. Help me, Holy Ghost. You see, in the world we have some individuals who are in 
a world of sinfulness. They embrace the devil's counter feet. You know, many persons believe they are happy. Oh, they believe that they are happy. But they are only joyful for the occasion because true happiness is to know the Savior living a life in his favor. True happiness is what the Lord desires us to experience as we prepare ourselves for the second coming of Christ. Satan's counter feet. It won't work. There are many who believe that they are experiencing salvation. And follow me. You have so many churches. You have so many religions. And everybody believes that he is experiencing salvation. But what the Lord wants is not religion, not an outward form of religion. I'm talking about being prepared for the coming of Christ. The Lord wants true religion. Give me that whole time religion. Give me a spiritual bedrock whereby I do not only talk about the Savior or the Messiah, but I know him personally. I serve him passionately and I believe in him faithfully. That's what the Lord wants as we seek to be prepared for earth's final event. Follow me. So the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. Take it personally. Take it personally. If you believe in God, you must embrace that the only hope that we have is the hope in the coming of the Lord. And I'm going to share with you some facts about his coming. And the first fact about his coming is found in Jude 2 and verse 13. Jude 2 and verse 13. It underscores or emphasizes that the coming of Jesus will be literal literal you will understand that just as how Jesus or God made the universe by the breath of his mouth and the universe came forth and the universe is literal literal can see the skies we can touch the trees we can interact with each other the bible says we are looking 
for the return of Jesus. Look for the return of Jesus. And in his coming, there will be the solutions to the earth's crisis. Oh, how we must long for his coming. I imagine, I imagine when the Lord leaves heaven and the angels are eager, waiting for years, waiting for decades, waiting for centuries to return to the troubled earth. I can imagine the, the joy and the fanfare because there had been nothing like this in the universe. And I can imagine when the Lord touches down through the exosphere. When he parts the thermosphere. I can imagine when he divides the mesosphere. And when he enters and goes through the stratosphere. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and, and the little sphere will on which we stand, we will behold them literally. Praise God. He has not left us on our own. He is coming and his promise is sure. And we must hold on to God's unchanging hands. So the first point is he is coming literally. The second point is he is coming personally. Personally. Jesus himself is coming. And that's what Acts 1 and verse 11 says. And you turn your Bible at home. And it says this same Jesus. Acts 1 and verse 11. This same Jesus who you see being taken away from you. He will come in like manner. So, Jesus himself is coming, not a representative. He is the same one who is the rose of Sharon, the bright and morning star, the conquering lion and the tribe of Judah. Jesus is coming. He himself is coming not a representative. He came as a babe, died for you. Thank you, Jesus. He came and he lived for me. Praise your name, oh Jesus. He came and he died on the cross for me. Hallelujah. Went to the tomb for me. Took up his life Sunday morning for me. And he says, I am alive forevermore for you and for me this same Jesus who walked in Galilee this same Jesus who taught by the sea this same Jesus is coming back for you and for me but you know I am excited that it's not just personal and literal 
but it is public public Matthew 24 verse 27 it says as we see for as the lightning cometh out of where the east and shineth even unto the west follow me it says so shall also the coming of the son of man be just as how we see the rain that came as a result of Elsa just as how we experience the flood because of Elsa the Lord says I am coming back and my coming will be public it will be visible praise God and you read verse 30 Matthew 24 and it tells you that they will see and then shall appear a sign a sign just like the stop sign a sign just like any church sign visible public of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn every tribe people from every nation don't take this lightly people from every walk of life will be mourning because of the coming of the son of man when they see God in his splendor they will based on the fact that they are not prepared will be mourning they will be running they will be frightened they will be with fear but I say to you that you must be prepared to meet your God at home be prepared whatever country you are be prepared to meet your God because he is coming praise God he is coming he has not left us alone in this universe to struggle on our own and he has promised and the Bible says he is not slack concerning brethren his promise but he is faithful not like some politicians not like some persons but God is faithful and he says I am coming I am coming and I declare that he is coming he is coming pirate cannot prevent it he is coming parliament cannot stop it he is coming aircraft cannot bomb it missile cannot prevent it he is coming terrorists cannot hijack it he is coming on repentance will not stop it and immorality will not impede it he is coming praise God he is coming no prime minister no president can veto it God is coming believe that he is coming as the lightning flashed from the east to the west 
so shall the son of man the coming be well there is the fact that is coming is glorious his coming is glorious or let me tell you this his coming is audible and oh ho oh, oh, ho you must listen to this first Thessalonians 4 and verse 16 I want you to look at this and I want you to think about this it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a what? with a shout can you imagine a divine a, a shout that is all powerful can you imagine God shouting Holy Spirit shouting can you imagine the Son of God shouting can you imagine the Father shouting why are they shouting they are shouting for joy because he will be able to say of you and of me here are those who have gone through great tribulation they have been discouraged on every hand they have been battered by satan they have been tossed about with the challenges of this life here they are they have made it and the father the son and the holy spirit will shout for joy i want to so live the life that god can shout for joy when he looks at me and he sees his reflection he can shout for joy but he can't shout if you do not come to him boldly and surrender your life that's why we say surrender to him before it is too late surrender but the shouting is more than that because not only will the father son and holy spirit shout but it says with the trump of god oh lord have mercy so father shouting son shouting holy spirit shouting angels with their trumpet what will we do, will you do when the lord's trumpet sound some says it will sound so loud until it wakes up the dead what will you do and it goes on to say that with the voice of the archangel earth's greatest event earth's culminating events two groups those who have made a covenant those who have been baptized those who have kept the commandments of god two groups where will you be you will only be on the lord's side if you say yes lord yes can you just visualize two more points two more points when the trumpet of god shall sound can you imagine the saints 
of all ages. Get it up one by one. I believe that Paul will rise up preaching. Oh yes. I believe that David will get up singing. Oh, I believe that any leper that was made all by God will get up leaping. Oh, praise God. I believe that the blind who receive their sight, they will get up seeing. Hallelujah. And the deaf will rise up hearing. What a powerful morning when the Lord comes. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. Oh, praise God. I want you to be in the number because he is coming and his coming is audible. Oh, praise God. Well, quickly, quickly. His coming is glorious. Look at Matthew 16. And verse 27, a powerful passage. But it is all about preparing. Listen, it says there, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels and then he shall reward every man according to his works what are your works think about it as you sit at home as you follow as you contemplate the wisdom of God will say to you that he that covered his sin shall not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes shall have mercy. Because if you wait until the Lord comes, it will be too late. Too late will be their cry. And it says it will be glorious. I'm certain you have seen the pageantry of Olympics, the opening day. You have seen the fanfares and the choreography of light and persons. And you have heard the music and you have seen the different display of beauty oh, and we have looked in amazement as we see these world scenes and we as it were can feel the, the air can you imagine the glory of God can you imagine things you have never seen before can you imagine divine display can you imagine celestial arrangement can you imagine the music of the ages being played and God himself being escorted down the corridors of the eastern skies I don't know about you but I want to be there when the trumpets sound. I don't know about you, but I want to be there when the dead in Christ shall rise. I want to see Moses. I want to see Abraham. I want to see John the Revelator. 
I want to sing the song. I can't sing, but I want to sing the song. Right on, King Jesus. Right on, King Jesus. No man, no power cannot hinder you. Right on, right on, Jesus. You have said you will come as a thief in the night. Right on, Jesus. You said those who are unjust and filthy will be filthy still. Right on, Jesus. You have said that you will be as a thief in the night. I said again, right on, Jesus. I want to see your glory. I want to see earth being at a full stop. Stand still. No traffic in the street. No meeting being held. Because the God of God has descended and is putting an end to all things. Right on King Jesus. King of kings. Lord of lords. Conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. I don't want to be on the devil's sight. The old serpent, Satan, I don't want to be on his side. Oh Lord, hide me in your bosom. Hide me in your pavilion. Because I've made a covenant with you right on. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. No more slaying of presidents. What about you? What about you? Are you saying, Lord, count me in. How can I miss such great salvation? I praise God for you because you deep in your heart you love him and I just say to you surrender to him now don't watch the challenges because if he could have made the universe and if he could have conquered sin he can take care of you so as you think about your soul salvation, as we will be talking tomorrow night, is baptism necessary? I want you to consider whose side are you standing on? I say, I stand, I stand, I stand. By the grace of God, you must say, by the Spirit of God, you must declare, by the power of God, God is no weakling. You must say, not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord, I stand, I stand, I stand, I stand. I am standing on the Lord's side, and he will give you power cause you to ride up with wings like eagles and the devil will just look at you and can't touch you because you are a child of the king of kings waiting on earth's greatest event what side are you standing on just type L I'm standing on the Lord's side and fill out that card online. Fill out that card and submit it. I'm standing on the Lord's side. And if you, you're here, we can give you a card tonight. If you need a card tonight, just raise your hand. You need a card tonight? She needs a card down there. You need a card, just raise your hand. Tonight, you are standing 
on the Lord's side. We listen to this song. Thank you. As we fill out our cards, as we click the response key, and as we say, Lord, I choose you. There's one hand here, and there's another hand as we close. Another hand for Jesus. Not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I want to be saved when Jesus years old a little too used to being alone another new mom and dad another school another house that'll never be home when people ask him Just a stop on the way to where we're going. I'm not afraid because I know this is my temporary home. Mm -hmm. Young mom. Needs a little help, got nowhere to go. And she's looking for a job, looking for a way out. Cause a halfway house will never be a home. At night she whispers to her. So where we're going, I'm not afraid because I know this is our temporary
Jesus is coming to save you. This is your heart. Put your X beside Christ. Choose Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Tonight you have gained the victory. Thank you for your response. There is rejoicing in heaven when there is repentance, even an inclination. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am right in hell. I am on your side. Tomorrow night is baptism necessary. Tonight we pray Elder Hudson Roosevelt prayer. Thank you. My trip. Or it's for prayer. Or for the heaven. You'd have spoken to your man servant another night. Through him, Lord, you'd have declared your message to your people to remind them that your coming is sure. Whether they believe it or not, you will come again and you will come to prepare for a people who are waiting on your return. You will come with your reward to give to every man according to their work. But tonight was another night, another opportunity as they hear the words from heaven to make that decision to choose between life and death. We pray even now that as your Holy Spirit would have moved upon their hearts through the different ways, Lord, that you will help them to see not only physically but spiritually, that you will help them to make the right decision, that you will help them to understand that the time that they have come to live in, that you will help them to understand the purpose and the plan of salvation and how you'd have went to the cross just to save them just as oh you'd have saved myself who is also praying on their behalf so into your hands lord we commit their safety and their decision that they are about to make even right now we pray lord that you may give them the strength give them the faith and that blessed hope lord that they may leave the devil's camp that they may divorce him even right now and come on the side of victory, Lord. Let them to understand how much you love them. How much you care about them. How much you understand their suffering and the situation in which they are facing even right now. And that you are indeed reaching out unto them to save them. And also to deliver them out of their circumstances. We ask for your blessing upon each and every one, Lord. Who have taken time out to listen to the message. We ask that you may continue to be with your man's servant. That you may continue to strengthen him, O Lord. And whatever plans that the enemy may have for this series, Lord. We pray that you may take his plans and turn it against him. And that your name will be lifted up and be glorified. And at the end of this series, Lord, that souls will be won for your kingdom. And the devil's camp will be defeated one another time once again, Lord. And that you will show him that whatever you come up against, Lord, you will beat back the forces of darkness through your word. For as your word goes forth, Lord, it will accomplish its purpose, O oh Lord. So once again, we tell you thanks. We tell you thanks for the victory. We tell you thanks for the souls that are making a decision to serve you even now. We tell you thanks for sending your angels to protect each and everyone who is within the sanctuary and where your children are who are watching via through the different online mediums. We ask that you come to be with them. Continue to bless them. Continue to help them to be prosperous in whatever they may do. And whatever plans the enemy put up, Lord, we pray that you may defeat him and put him to shame so that your name will lift up once again into your hands you commit the life and the safety and the security of each and every one. Let God's people say, Amen. Oh, be 
없앤다 가볍혀 whether baptism is necessary or not. We have indeed been blessed thus far and you cannot afford to miss tomorrow night. Remember, if you go to the YouTube link underneath the video, in the description box, there is the response card. If you need prayer, go to the response card. If you want to talk to somebody, go to the response card. If you want to commit your life through baptism, go to the response card. Also, utilize a quiz link. See if you've been learning more about Jesus through that method. I'm your host, Bradford Lyons. And it is good night and goodbye from you.